once everybody's lost the so yeah, basically just make sure we are here today to honor the extraordinary heroism of 14 remarkable airmen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Though the aircrew have been in the sky watching our initial assault providing covering fire as necessary throughout the operation to this point, it was now the speed and accuracy and pure professionalism that was brought to bear that truly amazed me. And when every second mattered and lives were on the line, everybody was on top of their game in that aircraft, 100% and then some. Because of what you guys did, your steadfast commitment to men you've never met, men like Colin Lightfoot got to meet his daughter. Instead, and families across America got to wake up and not hear the news about another tragic terrorist attack on our U.S. soil. But in the worst moments, in the most confusing moments, leaders rose to the occasion from the assault force, and more specifically from my wife and my son and my daughter. I want to thank you for your professionalism and, and for rising to the occasion. Without any of that, uh, I would not have been hoisted out of there and I wouldn't be standing here in front of you today. So I'm indebted to you in a way I can't describe. And I want to thank you all for joining us and celebrating their, hero their heroism. Thank you. There was no room for error. No room for error in delivery, no room for error in accuracy. We needed it now. And I believe I speak for all STJ tacks when I say that the reason we trusted Spooky 4-1 to shoot first rounds danger close in such a chaotic environment is not the hardware. To be sure, the AC-130 and its cannons are exactly what we needed. It was the only viable option at that moment. But the weapon system is only as good as the crew working it. The most lethal part of a gunship is the crew. And uh, there is nothing, I've flown every aircraft in the AVSOC inventory uh, in combat. And I will tell you that there is nothing more complicated uh, than the dance that goes on in a gunship to bring the kind of capability that our teammates have described this morning uh, to bear on our nation's adversaries. The orchestration that goes on uh, is unlike anything that you will see any place else in AFSOC, any place else in the United States Air Force. Uh, so it's fitting today that we have the opportunity uh, not to talk about an airplane and sensors and munitions and that kind of stuff, but uh, we have the opportunity to recognize the most important part of the gunship, uh, its crew. Two members of Spooky 4-1 are receiving the Distinguished Flying Cross Medal. This is to certify that the President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress July 2nd, 1926, has awarded the Air Medal to Captain Micah U. Vegas, Captain Brian Yee, Lieutenant Nicholas Maolo, Tech Sergeant Ryan Estes, Tech Sergeant Austin Parent, Staff Sergeant Jacob Griffin, Staff Sergeant Omar Diaz, Staff Sergeant Jonathan Fries, Staff Sergeant Michael Martinez, Staff Sergeant Samuel Mayfield, Senior Airman Jacob Bateman, and A1C Zadok Dean III, who distinguished themselves by meritorious achievement while participating in aerial flight as AC-130U crew members. Please join me in one more round of applause for all of today's medal recipients.